What's up guys? We're back with more Merge NYC and it is time for another Everyone Goes. We're back on the Manhattan map and we're going to be responding to a building collapse. I think it said with a trapped worker. Had a ton of people asking for another Everyone Goes. So that's what we're going to be doing today for Emergency Monday. Uh, our call is going to be first alarm. It's going to be engine 49, squad 28 responding as uh, second due engine. Engine 32, tower ladder 68, ladder 66, battalion 5, and it has squad 28 again. I don't know what's up with that. And then rescue 9. Uh, it's going to be a worker trapped in sight. So it's going to be a building collapse with a trapped worker. Of course, we're bringing everyone on the map. Any and everyone we can get is going to be going to this call. So let's go ahead and see about getting started. Man, I love this door. Is this not the coolest door ever? Uh, heaven sent, hellbound. That's just way cool. I love that. All right, we're going to respond with uh, 49 first. Get the door open. All right, here we go. Got everything up and running. Probably going to be a little bit of a longer episode today. We've been doing a lot of short ones here lately. Like I said, YouTube just likes uh, the shorter videos a little better, but uh, today's going to be longer. We'll have some longer ones from time to time as well, too. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here, and let's get the stuff pulled back up. See, which way do we need to go? I guess we need to go back around this way. There we go. All right, we're rolling now, guys. We're rolling. We'll be there in a minute. I don't think we've ever been to this site either. Whoa, car just popped up in front of us. That was wild. It took a long time for them to load up. Nice. Nice. <laughs> we jumped a car. It's always great. All right, y'all need to move. Go. There we go. Get out of the way. I can't hardly see. Let's uh, change our view up a little bit here. There we go. That's a little better. All right, now I think we're finally set, maybe. All right, we'll hang this right. Should be down here at the end of the street. We'll have to look at our hydrant situation. We'll put this guy right on scene. Okay, yeah, we got a hydrant right across the street, so we're good with that. There shouldn't be any fire involved. I think we're good with that. Let's see. Let's hop out. Let's take a look at the scene here, see what we got. Uh... Yeah, okay. It looks like a few of these floors collapsed, maybe. So there's going to be someone stuck in there somewhere. All right, uh, let's get uh, Ladder 68. We'll bring him. All right, let's do all the things. Let's get him rolling. Anyway, I hope you guys had a great weekend. Like I said, it's Monday. Monday is upon us. Spur had to turn in really early last night. Like, I was super tired, so. But good weekend, nonetheless. Good weekend for us. Very productive. All right, once again, he's got the old school cue as well. Let's zoom out a little bit so we can see a little better here. Go, what are you going to do? Are you just going to run into us, maybe? I don't think they know. You may have to tap it. <laughs> you may have to tap them. Sometimes when you tap them after you back off, they'll disappear. Or uh, we may have to do the other trick as well, too. Actually, let's do that. Let's do the other trick if he's not gone. Eh, maybe he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Okay. Man, we're having a fight with some traffic today, right? They are just everywhere today. It's almost like real life, right? <laughs> There's so many cars. I don't think I've seen this many in game. Like it's been a long time, maybe, which I haven't changed any settings, so I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, that's a ton of cars, man. Oh, this tower ladder's a beast, right? Like she literally they still have the jitters in the turn. I don't know what's up with that. That's something that's changed. In one of the more recent updates, it's like the back end wants to jitter around a little bit when you go into a turn. All right, who else we got here? Smoky, a little dusty here. All the stuff that's uh, floating around in the air. All right, Squad Twenty Eight is the next one up, guys. Yeah, he's got the super loud cue. Well, let's not curve it. Come on. All right, let's see. How do we get over there? gonna be a ways away yeah it is 
So you guys are new to the Everyone Goes experience. We've been doing this for a long time. I haven't done it as much here lately because we've done so many of them. So it's been a while. But basically what it is, I guess it's more like a, a response video. Yeah, it's probably more of a response video. I don't do every Everyone Goes responses to fires. And the reason for that is that usually by the time I get all the equipment on scene and we get set to actually start putting water on the fire is uh, the fire burns out like it, it burns completely out we can't do anything about it so uh, generally we do everyone goes like building collapses uh, major incidents stuff like that seems to help a little bit so yeah we've been doing these for a long time and like I said it's gonna be mostly a response compilation you're gonna see a lot of uh, uh, pieces of equipment, lots of lights and sirens. If you're into the sirens and the lights and the response and all that stuff, this is a video for you because uh, once we get everything there, it's probably going to take like five minutes to get the dude out from uh, the debris and then, then we're done. Like, that's pretty much it. Okay, let's get this guy. Let's make it right. Yeah, right, we'll park this guy here. We'll probably bring Rescue 9. Go ahead and grab him. All right, Rescue 9 is up. It's their turn now. Dude, we can fight traffic. Man, I just can't get over how the traffic is in game today. We're going to have to uh, bust out our anti-traffic tricks to, <laughs> to combat this because they're so bad. All right, anti-traffic trick. All right, we'll deploy it. Yeah, if you just switch views, if you go to uh, first person, whatever's in your way will go away, and then you can hop back out. So that's kind of one little quick, easy way to take care of it. Oh, nice. We're going to get to go down uh, Broadway. That's cool. Very cool, Times Square, I love it. I really wish we had more calls. Like every time we go through Times Square, I'm like, I wish we had more calls over here. Something, you know, some car fires, some rubbish fires, something like that. I know there's a few things over here, but it's not a lot. Come on, y'all get out of the way. All these Corvettes, everyone in New York <laughs> drives a Corvette. <laughs> it's like lots and lots of Corvettes. Yeah, let's swap. Oh, I didn't despawn that one. Interesting. Usually it despawns when you switch views. Alright, we really need to pick up our horn game because that's uh, R1, which is the real life equivalent to R9. Is like, uh, <laughs> they love using that horn. They're like notorious for using the horn. Which I get because usually the stuff that they're going to is like, uh, not a bad situation. All right. We've got this guy. Who else do we have? We've got a lot more to do, guys. we got a lot more to bring. Let's see. Who else we got? Uh, Engine 32 and... Uh, okay, we'll do Engine 32. All right, next up, 32. We'll get him there. We got, I think we got everything up and running. Yeah, we're good. All right, let's go. Let's see. How do we need to go on this one? This is way down in, like, lower Manhattan. Um, back, okay, yeah, back to the right and then to the left. All right, no, uh, no traditional cue on this one. Let's see, what are we going to do? Okay, back, yeah, okay, back to the right. I don't ever, I hardly ever respond from lower Manhattan, so this is kind of like new to me. We got a lot more equipment to bring, guys. We sure do. We have a ton. Now, there's not as much on this map as there is Brooklyn. Brooklyn, we've brought tons and tons of units before, but uh, this one, we'll bring everything we can. Come on, get out of the way. Why are you taking your sweet time? All right, that took care of that. Almost there. Good little first person action here. Yeah, 
All right, here we are. We're here. I think we're gonna grab. Uh, we're gonna grab this hydrant right here. We're gonna try to keep everyone on the uh, left-hand side of the road, the street, and kind of keep it open. All right. Uh, set parking brake. Next up, let's see. All right, next up, ladder 66. We got the ladder guys are coming. The crazy ladder guys. They always my troublemakers. <laughs> I don't know why, but in game, they're my troublemakers for some reason. They all the time getting into stuff, and this view is horrible. I gotta fix that. There we go. Does he have a traditional cue? No, he does not. I think what we may do on this one is run down fifth. We'll see. Let's try it. It's going to be against the green, but we'll be all right. Come on, move. Yeah, move, move, move. Ah, they just refuse to do it, right? There we go. That takes care of it. All right, we'll try it this way. Oh, it's so much faster in first person. It really just is. Oh, why are you hitting me? <laughs> why are they like aiming for us? Oh, I love it. This is some of my, uh, my favorite part of it. The response I do. There's something about just screaming down the streets. All right, we need to go on down one more. There we are. Oh, slow down, slow. Eh, it should be good behind uh, R9. There we go. All right, next up. All right, guys, we're rolling Battalion Fire. We're coming through Times Square now. We'll bring them. Then we got a lot more units to bring as well, too. Yeah, we're not done. We're not done. We've got a ton of equipment to bring. Like I said, Everyone Goes is uh, mostly a response video. I used to do it for... Uh, this car is just like... Oh, he's parked. Parked on the corner. What's up with that? Um, the everyone goes used to be to fires too. I used to do it to fires a lot too. Like I said, they just kept burning out. Like every time I would get everything there, they burn out. And it was really just kind of anticlimactic to get all that equipment there and set up and then just have the fire burn out. So I think we're going to take this guy down to the end of the street. There we go. We'll park him all the way down here. All right, now we need to start bringing some of the other stuff that wasn't actually on the call. But like I said, we're bringing everything, so it's not completely legit, but it's all right. No truck, no problem. All right, it's time for uh, Engine Company 85. We'll be bringing them. How do we need to go on this one? Okay, this is going to be north of it. All right. Oh, different. Okay, nice. Different siren. I'll go for that. Let's see, how are we going to do this? I guess we're going to go down this street here. Yeah, okay. All right, get out of the way. Come on, y'all need to move it on over. Oh, we're almost there. We're like literally just like right down the street from it. Should have gone on the major highway on the FDR and uh, have access on the other side. But it looks like most everything is going on in front here, so... We should be all right. Might actually need to bring the hazmat second piece too, because uh, I mean, there could be some hazardous materials uh, located in that construction site. All right, who else? Uh, we brought engine 85, we brought fifth battalion, we've brought squad, we got rescue nine. Uh, ladder company 75. It is tiller time, guys, it's tiller time. People love the tiller ladders, I'm telling you. Yeah, we'll have to bring 75 and 30, and then we'll have 78 and 57. Oh, nice. He's got a traditional cue. Sweet. All right. This, this thing is a handful. I'm telling you guys now she's a handful. So we're going to try to do all the things, but we'll succeed. It's like I don't have enough fingers on my left hand 
to uh, to do the tiller and the sirens and the horn and all the things. So, all right, let's get situated. We're going against the grain and the tiller ladder. This may not be good, but we'll see. At least we got like a bike. What is that? Turning? I guess it's a turning lane. Yeah. All right, now I think we're situated. We've got all kind of stuff going on with this thing. Alright, let's see if we can drift them over a little bit here. Nice, nice, nice. I love the tiller ladder, but man, she's a handful. I'm telling you right now. Alright, let's drift her on over some more here. <laughs> it's so cool. I need to work on my keybinds. Maybe there's something I can do that's a little bit uh, easier to work with. It's like one of the longer responses we've done with the tiller ladder. Whoa, 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 slow down, slow down, Spur, we gotta turn. Spur was watching ahead, but I wasn't paying attention to our turn. Man, it seems like this uh, traditional cue the manual cue spools down really fast. All right, y'all get out the way. It's just gonna be a line of uh, FDNY equipment <laughs> marked on the street. It's gonna be a ton of them. All right, we got engine 30. Let's go ahead and jump in him. All right, here we go, engine 30. We'll get him down there. Hopefully, this is gonna be a lot easier. Like I said, that tiller ladder, man, she's a handful. It's a lot to do. first person on this one there we go nice yeah the streets are clear for us now before they weren't we had stuff all over the place And she's flying. It's always, it, it never ceases to amaze me how much faster it looks. First person than uh, third person. Like it's literally like night and day. Y'all move, get out of the way. All right, here we go, another one down. Who else we got? Who else is gonna be our uh, guinea pig? Mob City Trucking, nice. It's another one we don't take out a whole lot. We don't do a lot of responses with this. Looks like this guy is gonna be right here on Broadway though. Yeah, he's gonna be not, yeah, right here at Times Square. Nice, uh, let's go against the grain. We'll try it and see. That's different. Uh, there we go. He was zoomed in for some reason. There we go, that's better. I couldn't handle first person in this one for some reason. It was really out of whack. All right, should be good here. Yeah, nice, okay, take a out right there at it. Come on, get out of the way. Move, move, move. It's going to have to hit you. Call our insurance about it later. <laughs> get in touch with our insurance company. Uh, we're running out of room, guys. Okay, let's put this guy maybe right here. We'll do a little traffic control with him, kind of. Lock this intersection off. It's a major incident, guys. It's, it's like it's a big deal. We got uh, a big response. Alright, time for uh, engine 31. We're coming down to the uh, 
End of the list, guys. Got a few more, a few more left, but uh, not a lot. All right, let's see. How are we going to do this? Guess we'll cut across over to uh, Broadway and down that way. At least we got the bus lane. We can use it. There's no buses on map, so we don't have to worry about that. Once again, not a real life firefighter. I just, Spur doesn't know anything about it. Like I know absolutely nothing about firefighting, firefighting, but we do have a ton of firefighters, real life firefighters. Um, I think some paramedics, uh, and I'm not sure about police officers. I don't know if we got any real life police officers that watch the content, but we do have a ton of real life firefighters. It blows my mind. It blows my mind. What are you doing? You know what? Just call the insurance company, dude. Just call them. Call him, settle it, <laughs> file a claim. It wasn't our fault though, that should be on him. Anyway, we do have a ton of real life firefighters and it always blows my mind, like these guys go out and do this for a living. And then uh, and then they come home and they watch my content. And as like, I'm so humbled by that, that uh, these guys enjoy doing that and enjoy my content. I, I really, it blows my mind. Every time I think about that, I'm like, man, all right, so we're on scene with this guy as well, too. This is a huge line of equipment. Man, I've never seen this much as like an FDNY parade. All right, I hate it for these guys down here because they got a long ways to walk. All right, who else is next? All right, here we are, Engine Company 78. This dude needs to get out and get some sunlight big time. He really does, but everyone loves 78, especially the one with the uh, black stripe. The black accents and all that stuff. All right, let's get everything up and running. West Side Warriors, nice. I like the uh, tomahawks on it. It's cool. All right, we'll go out and then back to the right. I think this thing has the loudest horn out of all of them. It's got a crazy loud horn. Yeah, we'll cut across and we'll go down Broadway. All right. No, stop, you people. Why aren't y'all, why aren't y'all like yielding? Y'all are supposed to, man. AI's in full effect today, guys. Like they really just are. Oh, I forgot we can't. Yeah, we got to cut back through. Come on. All right, back this way. We were way through Times Square. I love it though. I love coming through here. All right, you know what? We you just another insurance claim on the Corvette. going through here. I really just do. Man, I wish we had more stuff to do right here. That would be so cool. We need like a ton of calls around Times Square. That would be so awesome to have. I would love that. Like uh, car accidents, you know, uh, like I said, rubbish fires, car fires, manhole fires, any, you know, like tons of that stuff in that area would be so nice. All right, where are we gonna take this guy? I think maybe right here. And then we gotta bring in ambulance too. Like we're still not done. All right, we gotta bring 57. Hey, 57, you're up. Another good one. This is pretty much the same route, so we should be good. Does it have a traditional queue? No, it does not. But she does have an extremely loud horn, that is for sure. Come on, y'all, yield, please yield. <laughs> please yield. Oh, the traffic is so bad today. I don't know what is up with that, man. I don't remember touching any settings. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Maybe Spur changed something and I had I forgot. It's been a minute. Like uh, we only did one emerge NYC last week. What are you? Why are you trying to hit me? What are you doing, dude? We did one last week. Uh, we've done like man, what 160 episodes of Emerge NYC now. It's a ton. So kind of slacked off of them a little bit. 
here and there to uh, for it to not get like old and repetitive because I don't want that that to happen. So, all right, come on. I know people all the time asking about the AI update for Emerge 2. I I don't know, guys. Like I really don't know. I haven't heard anything else about it. So I really just don't know the status of the AI update. I'm definitely looking forward to it. I think it'll be nice to have, but uh, as far as like when and what's going on with it, I don't know. And I'll tell you right now, I'm the first one to tell you, I don't really keep an eye on the Discord. I, I do good just keeping up with my own Discord, honestly. Like I've been doing a lot of work on it the last few days, so. And uh, I've got some guys that have volunteered to uh, to help out over there too, so that should help us out a good bit. All right, let's see where we want to take this guy. I guess down at the end, maybe, because that this one wouldn't block the ambulance if we need to bring him down there, which we are. Look at all the equipment. Is that not crazy? Why wow. we need to bring a second piece too? I forgot about that. All right, let's put this guy right here. We need to bring the second piece for uh, squad. Let's do that. The hazmat. We may as well bring him. All right, here we go. Squad 28 second piece. Just in case if we have any kind of hazmat or anything on the scene. You never know with a building collapse like that. There could be all kind of stuff in there. So we're going to bring this guy. Plus, this is going to be a fun response. I love responding from uh, the squad station. And I like this, uh, this rig, too. This is a nice one. All right, let's see. How are we going to do this one? Down and up. Down and up, Spur. Y'all, come on. Get out of the way. I know y'all want to. They're thinking about it. No, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. They leave their butt sticking out, and then you catch them in the... In the bumper is not good. All right, I guess we're going to go wrong way. We're going to try it. Spurs a glutton for punishment. This is not the day to be running wrong way, though. I can tell you that right now. Come on, y'all move. Come on, y'all move. Go, 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 go. Anyway, back to the Discord. Uh, yeah, we're I'm doing some work on it, and uh, we're going to be posting some more exclusive content over there as well, too. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to do some uh, some videos for uh, Discord members, something a little extra for them to watch. The exclusive content eventually does make it over here. Like, one of them was the reaction to uh, the Bronx is burning, the uh, Man on Fire documentary. Come on, y'all move. Go, go, go. So, yeah, what we do is we post it over on Discord for uh, a week or two. Uh, let those members, you know, enjoy it and watch it. And then uh, eventually post them on YouTube. So, I've got another one. Uh, the content on Discord is a little different. I'm trying to do something a little different that, apart from what uh, you see on here. Let's take this guy on down, actually. We'll take him closer to the scene. This should be good here, and of course, you're going to need an ambulance. I think this is everyone, right? All right, and our final piece of equipment we're going to be bringing is the uh, FDNY ambulance, the Ford is here. We'll get him over there in a second, because of course, dude's absolutely going to need to be treated. What are you doing? Oh, we just T-boned a trash truck. That's not good. Come on, you're out of the way? Yes, he is. That would be cool too. I've seen garbage truck fires in New York City, like where they have to cut them open or whatever to gain access to the fire. That would be really neat as well too. Some kind of uh, garbage truck fire incident or something like that. All right, let's see. Yeah, okay, we can keep going right this way. All right, stop, yield, stop. 
Reminds me of the dude, the uh, TikTok, the dude. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Safety first. Safety first. <laughs> double check. Double check. That dude is hilarious. I love that TikTok. That is so funny. All right. All right. I think we're finally here. I think we've got everyone we need. Man, we left a big gap right there. I don't know what I was thinking when I did that, but <laughs> we got a huge gap. All the other guys at the end are like, damn it, we got to walk all that way. Okay. Uh, we're on scene. Let's go ahead and jump on uh, maybe Rescue 9. All right, let's get down here. Let's check it out. Let's see what's going on. Uh, man, we've got a ton of stuff. Oh, I hope he's not buried under all that. That's not going to be good. All right, so what we do is we just walk around and we listen for him. And when I say we listen for him, we're actually, in reality, looking for the, the uh, there you go. See the EMS UI pop up? So if we kind of walk around, you'll see it should pop up again. Maybe, maybe not. Well, we lost him. Where was he at? There he is. There he is. There he is. He's over here. All right. I hear him. He's going to hit me. <laughs> hit me. Right here. Oh, man. He's like right in the middle of the pile. What? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that sucks real bad. That sucks real bad. It's going to be like three hours later. All right. Well, I guess we start moving. Uh, we start moving debris out of the way. So luckily, through the magic of editing, you guys don't have to uh, go through all this stuff. All right, let's look a little better. He's right in here somewhere, but I can't. He's he's actually he's probably more over here. Yeah, he may be more in this area. All right, let's move some more stuff. We got our super strength. <laughs> we can move huge concrete blocks. Supposedly, you can use a drill. Like uh, a while back, you could use a drill. And like make this stuff disappear but I can't find the drill now like something's happened it used to be on uh, every firefighter used to have the drill right in the torch there he is I see him down there peeking now yeah there he is uh, but now it's been like it's relocated it's moved somewhere else so I'm not sure uh, where it's at now so if you guys know where to find that stuff let me know in the comments because I, I don't have a clue now all right, here we go. We're almost to him. We've almost got this dude out. Man, it's been like, <laughs> I've been moving this stuff for a while. You guys just don't get to uh, enjoy the fun part of this. But man, we've been moving a ton of stuff. He is all kind of crinkled up down there. <laughs> he looks like a pretzel. No, this dude's messed up bad. I guarantee you. he's going to be in bad shape. He's more likely he's not going to be with us. The rest of this stuff off of him. Uh, this may be good right here. We might be able to get the Stokes basket and get this guy out. All right, let's go ahead and assess him, see what he looks like. Uh, Daryl Van Vanio, I guess that's what his name is. It's going to be a mill. Um, yeah, he's got some stuff going on here. He's got a broke arm. Uh, he's alive, though. He's with us. His uh, temp's 98. His pulse is 70. He's got a good, strong pulse. His blood pressure is 125 over 85. Respiration's 8. His breathing's a little bit low, but um, he's got uh, difficulty breathing. Spinal fluid, so he's got a head injury. He's got a spinal injury, and he's got a broke arm. Let's um, let's go ahead and put a C collar on. Let's get that started. Let's see. Yeah, neck collar. We get that going, and... Um, Gosh, I don't know. They could technically maybe go ahead and start an IV on, you know, in spot. If it's going to be a while, I like to get them out. They could, I guess they could do that. Uh, let's get the Stokes basket and then we'll do all that other stuff when we get them out. Let's right, see. Here we are. Stokes basket. Let's get that. We'll get him loaded up and then we'll be good to go. We should be good. He's alive. I'm really surprised. Like, I totally thought this dude would be dead, but he's... He's with us, at least for the moment. If Spur doesn't goof this up, <laughs> he's going to be with us. Let's see. Uh, we got to move the... No, not that. Oh, we had some rocks fall on. That's not good. Okay, we'll just disregard that like that never happened. But it has <laughs> some boulders fell on top of him. All right, let's see if we can get him out of here. Uh, let's... Come on. Come on, I'm afraid we're going to drop him. Come on. There we go. Nice. All right. That's all right. I'll go for that. Get him out here on the sidewalk. 
Come on, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you don't want to tip him over. Oh, come on. We're so close. Sweet, there we go. All right, let's jump on our paramedic and uh, we'll get this guy treated and then we'll get him loaded up and out of here. There we go. All right, let's drop it. Let's lower it. And let's go check on our guy. Let's see what else can we do for him. We can definitely start an IV. We can splint his arm. Let's do that. Let's splint his arm. Splint fracture. Let's give him IV in his good arm. And let's see what else do we need. Uh, I imagine he's probably in some pain. So let's get him. Let's yeah. Let's give him some morphine. We'll give him that. It do, I don't think it really matters in game. Like there, it doesn't do anything. But we'll do that and. Uh, we'll hook him to a vitals monitor as well, too. That wasn't working for me the other day, but it's working today. It's kind of weird. Uh, let's see. What, is, what does he look like now? Okay, his pulse is going down a little bit. Maybe that's because of the morphine, but his temp's 98. His pulse is 67. His 127 over 87. His respirations are 8. So his blood pressure is going up a little bit. His pulse is going down since giving him morphine. And I think we're going to put him on oxygen as well, too. Let's do that. Uh, let's just administer oxygen. He doesn't need to be intubated. He's breathing just fine. All right, let's see what he looks like here. Nice. Okay, so he's got all the visual in the Stokes bas basket, but once we move him over to the stretcher, that stuff's going to go away. He's currently a bug, so uh, we can look at the uh, bottles monitor as well, too. Uh, yeah, showing a lot lower. Oh, his, his, uh, his heart rate's going down. Okay, 49. Uh, 99% O2, 8 respirations, uh, 102 over 62. So, yeah, his heart rate's going down a good bit since we got him treated. I'm going to attribute that to the morphine. All right, let's get him on a stretcher and get him out of here, and then we'll call it a day. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, move patients. Of course, like I said, all the visuals go away, unfortunately. Used to not to. Used to keep all the visuals, even on the stretcher, but not anymore. All right, let's go ahead, and uh, we'll raise that up. We'll grab the stretcher. We'll get him loaded up. And we'll get him out of here, and we'll call it a day, guys. This was a huge response, big response. Probably one of the bigger Manhattan responses that we've had in a long, long time. Here we go. All right, let's get you loaded up, buddy. Get you out of here. Turn stretcher. Close the doors, and we'll hop in and get him out of here. We got a ways to back though. I didn't think about that. <laughs> we do. We have a long ways to back out. Uh, that's not good. All right, come on, back up. We don't have our backup beeper. There we go. Now we're turned around and situated. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Love all you guys. Thank you so much for the support, and uh, we'll catch you on the streets, of Manhattan, next time. Peace. Tonight for all of us. Everyone that you are.